today on hard mode backwards. Ooh, the crane saved me that time. The crane saved me that time. Is that gonna work? That was a little scary. Head towards the trees. Let's see how deep this gets. Maybe hug this way? Oh my. Okay, welcome back. And we are gonna start some of the logging and delivering all these pieces of wood. And we're gonna start with these medium planks and we're gonna take them to this house on the coast, which needs two of them. And I don't have my little trailer, so we're just gonna double stack this. And then the next load is a single load of medium planks, which goes sort of to that really muddy spot. And then the, the thing that I was looking at, uh, which this is, uh, some of the some of the pain in Maine. <laughs> Good title name. Maybe I'll use that. Um, is uh, the log location, like where logs are, is sort of a not a good spot. And we only need one medium, but then a bunch of shorts. But the shorts can all sort of come from the same place too. So we might just drive our short lead star for four trips i think it might actually work better than overloading i guess i don't know we'll see because then i gotta bring two trucks for just two loads so it's, i mean it's the same difference if i'm driving one truck or two trucks there's much higher risk of like flipping the fleet star if i'm towing it with logs in it so I think we might be better off just doing two trips with the Fleet Star. Just loading shorts twice. So we'll take a look at that when we get to that point. Uh, this is a nice short trip. And then I'm going to leave this guy up by the house on the bog. Just in case our Fleet Star needs a little tug through that mud. I'm thinking it should be okay. We can get across the river for sure. Um, but yeah, getting through that deep mud might be sort of a pain in the butt for it, so... <clears throat> it was sort of a pain in the butt for this thing, so... Let's see what we can't figure out. I'm losing my voice. Okay. Had to, uh, clear my throat. Now oh, it's better. Yeah, let's get over this way, turn this one in. Where does this one go anyhow? This one goes to where we delivered the consumables. Okay. And then that one also takes the medium logs and the short logs, two short logs. So we have to drive out into the, basically into the river to that log station to get some mediums. And then drive out twice with the fleet dire to get two shorts. I guess the other side of things I could... How many mediums do we have left? A lot. There's four on the other side. And only two shorts on the other side. So yeah, this might actually work out. I think we'll just use the three vehicles independently. Um, we don't have a log trailer, but that would be mediums only. For a little bit longer at least. Hopefully soon we'll be getting our uh, short and medium log trailers from season 14. Which will come in handy. There's those. Yeah, this is... I feel like this is going to be a two-part episode just by itself. 
We're not going to get just this one contract done in this episode. So, uh, the pain in Ma pain in Maine part one. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go back up here, grab another medium plank, and take it up to the house on the bog, and then we'll just leave this guy up there. And we'll eventually end up taking those metal beams back with this. See what we can figure out. I think, uh, yeah. Once we get done with these two, then we're then we're ready to move. Uh, but like I said, the one on the west side is probably going to take us an episode or two as well, because that one is two wooden planks, two long planks, two shorts, and four mediums. And they're all in like terrible spots across the river and stuff, so we're gonna have to try and take something across the river. And it's uh, looking like a kind of a pain in the butt. But I really do kind of want to take. Uh, we might drive that truck back. We'll do our long planks from here. We might bring the truck. Eh, I mean, I guess we could. We could just buy a trailer. We might actually make make use of another trailer. Um, we'll think about it. Like I said, it's possible that I'm not even going to get that in this episode. Long long planks and long logs at the house near the road might not happen today. That's my thought. If we're going to be doing these separate. Because I'd have to take two trucks anyhow to each location. Do mediums and shorts. Or even just the two shorts at the house near the bog. I'd have to take the Aramatsu to load those the extra set and the crane and also the fleet die with its short frame to be the loader truck so kind of picked a bad vehicle I mean I, I still like using the fleet die for that but uh, it doesn't have the ability to have a crane so if it did I could just put two shorts in it but oh well it is okay get some fuel uh, you know what? let's just bring the fuel to us where is our GMC there's our stack of uh, metal beams oh that's weird it kind of like sunk into the other one yeah things that happen when you log off right to go across the river I think we're gonna take our little sideway that ends up being a little bit smoother like that that like that like that and up in there okay So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get over here, see what we can do for how this does on its way over, and then, like I said, uh, hoping that we don't flip anything, but uh, should have backup trucks in random places that should help with that if need be.
this path is going to get beat up too, going back and forth. That's um, somewhat of a concern. going too fast and I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay. <laughs> Slowed down fast enough at least. Try and cut through this way again. I know it's kind of deep here, but this thing should make it through. We might have to think about our short log truck. For the next one, even though there's only two. If it's got to go across that river, I don't know. I don't know about that. Unless we're like maybe taking it with something, but I feel like it's got a really high probability of flipping if we're dragging it across the river with something. Yeah, we'll think about it. on the high side. Okay. Let's go in the mud. I remember right, this river crossing was uh, kind of slow as well, so that'll be interesting in the fleet star. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Stay towards that lump. Okay. Crane saved me that time. The crane saved me that time. It didn't bury itself into the ground. Let's get up this hill. We'll have to remember that. That will definitely flip a fleet star. Didn't I say I wasn't going to use this thing anymore because it's kind of flippy? <laughs> I said that with the fem too, and here I was using it last time. Uh, pack. Alright. Try that again. Slowly. Let's go around this. Seems like the smart thing to do. That it is. The only thing is, too, is if we flip the fleet star, I've got no crane for recovering the logs if they kick out of it. So, yeah, that's gonna suck, too. Uh, and I think we went through the trees. 
I believe going through the trees was pretty good. We came back that one time. I remember saying to myself, I think we need to deliver logs here and we should find a way through. Still pretty crappy. And again, it's going to be super worn out, so by that third trip through, it's going to be no fun. Is that my road? What is that? Yeah, this thing is getting stuck. It doesn't bode well for the fleet's die. I think we're going to still try and make it work. It's only two trips. We have the power of editing on our side. <laughs> we can, uh, can speed things up a little bit. I guess we got to do the two short logs to the house on the coast first, so we'll do that first, I think. Get this guy out of the way. Just in case we need to go and uh, give the Fleet Star a tug through that. This guy's staying here. Then we're going to pick up these metal framing, these metal beams here on the way back, because there's only one. Yeah, kind of did plan it a little bit. Just a little bit. Fleet Star. This Fleet Star. Okay. And where's my Aramatsu? Right next to it. If only there was logs here. That would have made it really easy, actually. Get the uh, mediums and shorts here as well. Okay. So we need to go this way. Through this. Onto that. Into there. There is enough both mediums and shorts. There's just enough shorts to handle this mission. And there's not enough mediums here to handle the other one, but the other one is uh, in different places, so we should be okay. See how this thing does in the uh, river crossing here. Oh, this is the deep spot here. I should have went the other way. We'll probably go the other way when we come back. Oh, I guess I wonder if there is a good path through the terribleness where we flipped in like the first couple of episodes. Because there is like a path there. It could shortcut taking across the river, possibly. This thing is, uh, nice and stable.
This is what I wish the tractors would be like. Like this level of articulation in the steering and the, just the body and how it, the articulated angle kind of pivots and twists a little bit. Um, that'd be, it would make the tractors so much better. I mean, mind you, this thing has like really good suspension too. You can see the tires like moving up and down independently, but just so stiff driving those tractors around. Uh, let's back in. Let's back in so we can forward out. Not annoying whatsoever. Yeah, I bet it'll take it down to six. So yeah, it's three sets of mediums is what that is. There's four sets of shorts. So we have just enough shorts here that we can make all the trips. As long as the fleet dog can make it. We should be good. Oh yeah, we're going to take a look at the path. Before we jut into the river, let's take a, take a moment. like a road through here I just remember it being kind of crappy but it is a short I guess we should try it with this if we're gonna try it with anything let's give it a shot I feel like there's a road like right here somewhere that takes us in past this crap and then we can get to this part of the road like that so it's a little shorter and if it, if it works out, we'll, uh, if it looks like it's something we think the Fleet Star can get through, we'll take that a little bit shorter way with the Fleet Star. The way across the river should be fine. Just that last little bit. Like once you get onto land, there's... Kind of a nasty little tippy area, but I believe we flipped something in there. Is it the... I think that was when we flipped the uh, White Western Star. A little bit sketchy here, but still think the police star could make this. Let's see about this spot. Yeah, because this is where I think this is where we went in. Maybe not. Maybe we didn't go in here. Or did we go? We went in and we went straight instead of turning left. That's what it was. We were trying to go straight and then we bounced off of a hill. If we would have followed the road left. Let's see what the road left looks like. Uh, not terrible. Little little tippy. We'll have to go with a little slower with the fleet there, but so far so good. Can we get up onto the road? Is the question. Ooh. This looks unpleasant because there's like barricade there. What if we go past it? To the right is got like a really nasty looking hill. We'd have to go this way. 
and risk tipping here. Like for this thing, this is fine. We probably have to like go forward and back up a little bit. It's, it's pretty solid though, not muddy. I think we'll give it a try. Because that was not bad. Don't go over that, holy cow. Okay, we're going back. Jeez. Yeah, don't go that way. I don't know why I was just like, oh, I'll just go straight. It'll be fine. Alright, big dog, you're up. Let's get out of here. This thing is actually surprisingly stable with short logs on it, too. It actually makes it feel relatively safe. It still just has fleet star bounds, but yeah, you're not using a crane on it, which gives it that weird crane weight. Um, and yeah, like the logs do stack kind of high, but they're nice and short, so it's not terrible. I'm just more worried about the capabilities of getting through some of the mud and then the river crossing on the other side. Ooh, hello. That was uh, going too fast. Forget. I gotta go right. Right then left. Yeah, see what I mean about capability? It's already kind of struggling. It does do a little better with weight on it, so. Once we get loaded up, it should be okay. Uh, which one? Go to this one. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, left, 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 left. Left looks more shallow. Have worked out. Yeah, a little tippy back here. We just have to be extra careful. I think we'll be okay. I said, just gotta. Might have to winch a little bit. Play a little winch runner. We gotta make this trip twice to this one and then two times to the north. That's gonna be the one. That's the one I'm worried about.
Oops. Rip. Rip. Okay, let's see if we can make it. Uh, let's make our make our little shortcut again. So this way. Down to here. And then into here. And then we gotta go like this way. Like that. Somewhere in that general area. In the dark. <laughs> yeah, I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll just cut the second trip. We'll deliver these just to see that we can make it. And if we can make it without mi mishap... Uh, almost went over there. Easy now, Flipstar. Easy, easy, buddy. Uh, if we can make it, which we'll see, EBD, uh, we will, uh, just cut the second trip. We'll just come back, get another reload, come back, deliver them, and be done with that one. And we'll be back. We'll probably be back here at the loading warehouse because there's no point in dr seeing you seeing me drive back again as well. So yeah, we'll just we'll cut a little bit out just to make it a little faster, and we'll see if we can at least get the short logs to the house near the bog. Because that's gonna be the interesting one, I think. I think that's gonna be the one that gives us the most grief. Here's our path. This is the way we went before. So we're gonna follow a similar path. And we're gonna veer a little bit left, not go so deep. Same thing last time, I thought it turned left. Yeah. Easy. Easy, fleet die. Take it real slow. Let it settle after each rock. Okay. Hard part number one, good. This is where it gets a little tippy. And we gotta just be careful of our turn. This turn and the next turn. Gotta come at this at the right angle, otherwise it could be treacherous. We wanna back up just a, just a hair. Straighten out. We're gonna do that again up here. Go through these rocks. Take it nice and easy. this tree and then try and back it up a little bit to get it nice and even. Ooh, that's not really that even, is it? Ooh, the rock kind of helped out, actually. Kind of shot my back end a little bit. Okay. Ta-da! I think we're pretty much out of the woods. We just have to navigate this last little bit. Not try and jump off the road over here. Stay left. 
Do not go right. <laughs> See? Told you I could make it. Yeah, it's it's not this one that I'm working. <laughs> okay. But uh, all right. So we're gonna cut, and uh, I will uh, meet you back at the warehouse after we've delivered a second set here. So it'll be a little bit of time. It'll probably be daytime, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. We delivered one extra short log to the southern area, and uh, it uh, went well. It actually worked out pretty good. Let me just uh, get rid of this. There we go. And we're picking up another one. We decided uh, I was looking at it, and we kind of had a bit of a fuel crisis, I guess, in a way. Um wasn't sure what we were going to do about getting fuel, so I, I moved the other Fleet Star up. Because I think the only way through... I really don't think we can get through this way. We can try. I should have went the other way. Um, I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. This looks like really bad. Uh, we're going to try, though. If it's the shorter way, we can we can make it work. We'll make it work, but... Um, yeah, let's get turned around. Give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll abandon. See what we can do here. But yeah, then this will take care of this section of this delivery. And then all we have left is the long logs and the long planks, which we have to get from the upper warehouse. So I will have to drive the... Dan up to the other uh, log station so we can get some long logs and then we're also probably going to just get the long planks from up there as well Let's see how this path is I know it's not great but I have faith in my little fleet star it's done some things over this series that uh, I wouldn't have ever thought it, that it could do and it has surprised me over and over again. It has also let me down, uh, but it has surprised me more than it's let me down. So, um, we'll see. Yeah, this is sketchy. There is a spot to like go in here though. All right, I guess there's no way to, no way else to do it, but just go for it. Oh yeah, that's, we're getting pushed. It's, it's still going forward, though. We're making it through. I'm actually kind of surprised. It actually got solid enough there where it barked at me for the diff. Well, that's impressive. Means we need to move the other fleet star up. <laughs> I didn't go far enough. We gotta bring the other fleet star up one more. If we want to use that path to go back and forth. Which we can do. Now this section. Let's see if we can get a, get across this river and through that mud bog. I think we are gonna try going left. I'm gonna stay right here. Stay right here. As soon as this... Jeez. Yeah, it's gonna be rough going through there. We'll make it probably, but... And if I have to, like I said, the... Uh, the dairy's still up there. We can give this a tug. Get it unstuck.
Alright, so let's stay right here. Because that worked out okay. Kind of. Oh boy. Not so much with this thing. Come on, get up there. There we go. Just had to get over that little ledge. And now we're stopped again. <laughs> There's absolutely no winch points out here either. You just have to make it. Oh, that's an uncomfortable lean. Come on, little fleet star. Don't let me down, buddy. Oh, we gotta go over this yet, dude. Okay, so... I think we're gonna just go for this grass. I think we're just gonna avoid it altogether. Go up the center ridge of this grass. Is that gonna work? That was a little scary. Head towards the trees. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we I think we recovered. Whew. Okay. Hard part one down. <laughs> Next. This isn't tippy, it's just really slow. I have a feeling we're going to be uh, just winching through the whole thing. if we can keep our momentum for as long as possible. Yeah, and then we can just pull it out with the uh, dairy once we're done. Alright. Where did it get nasty? Up here somewhere. Let's start. Let's start winching. I think I'm going to try and go this way. Give me another one up there. Uh oh. Stuck on something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how it's gonna be, though. Oh, we got a little bit of solidness over here. Okay, left was good. And we got some snow. Could slow it down again, which it is. And then we want to go left here. Take what looks like a path. Kinda, sorta. I guess that does kinda go all the way up there, doesn't it? I don't really need to be going through all this muck.
you know, we're going through the muck. Look at that. Uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> There's a little bit of a lean right there at the end. Okay. Woo. All right. We made one. <laughs> How many, uh, much time did that take? Uh, where's my... Oh. Yeah, we could probably make that trip again. That's how we're gonna end it, though. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see about getting back. Let's go this way. What's this way? Where is that, that other path lead to? Not here, clearly. this what's this okay okay we can take this path yep this one isn't uh, quite as bad Well, I mean, that would be us getting what we wanted to get done. I was actually kind of shooting for this. I wasn't sure I was going to make it, but uh, this will definitely get this done. So yeah, then we just have uh, long logs and long planks to finish this one up in the next one. And then the whole rest of the other. <laughs> so maybe three episodes for two things. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. A week's worth of episodes for that. That's not a bad thing. Let's go right here. Try and keep making new paths through the mud. Gonna be some spots where we inevitably have to, uh, can we? No. There's not really a path through from there. I'm going to say, can we go to this house and go that way? But I don't think so. Just going to have to winch. It's making it though. It's doing the doing the work. Oh, we're really low on gas. That trip is exhausting for this thing. Yeah, we'll make it, but it's gonna be tight. We still gotta get back across the river, and we gotta bring the fuel truck up. Okay, yeah, we'll have to make a little side side hustle trip up here and. Bring the fuel truck up. Oh yeah, we wanted to go left here. 
stay up on this ridge. That worked, it was just like really scary. Just for grins, I'm gonna try not going over that little mound this time. We're just gonna go straight and see what happens. See how deep this gets. Maybe hug this way. Oh my. Well, I mean, I guess it's going. We can try it. We just want to try and stay in the middle. It's just going to get really deep. Oh, does that make me nervous? <laughs> And if we lose these logs, here's the catch 22, right? This is a limited amount of short logs, and these are the last three logs. So if we tip this and lose these logs, like in the river, for example, we have to go all the way up to the other warehouse to pick up logs for this one, which will suck. So we definitely don't want to lose it. I hope that's not foreshadowing. I really hope that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said kept my mouth shut. Uh, yeah, you'll see in the end. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to bring the fuel truck up. So we're going to take a second here, bring the fuel truck up, and then we'll try and make it across here again. Other fleets die. Come hither. It is uh, satisfying, both satisfying and fun, I should say, to use trucks like this in places that you normally would be like, oh, there's no way I would use fleets out here. Just to say it can be done, you know, like. It's a little bit harder, a little bit more uh, pain in the butt, but you can make it. As long as you give it a shot. So yeah, we have to like cut off the road and then try and make... Oh, there's a tree there. Okay. We do have a winch point to aid us in getting across that when we go back across. Sucker's almost empty. Good though, we're almost done over here. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm going to get this thing back over here, hopefully. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. I mean, I guess it's kind of pushing me that way, but. <laughs> Oh, so sketchy. Apparently the fuel tank with weight helps it out. Alright. So let me make myself a little bit of a map path here. We're gonna get here. Then we're gonna go back the same way. 
like that, and like that, and like that, like that, 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 so I know. Okay. But that is where we're going to leave it today, as I said, and uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.